you are now entering the 30 sex chambers. <laughs> what would they be? What would Wu-Tang call? The, the, the pushy, sex? the asshole, the mouth, the ear, the other ear, the mm-hmm. nostril, the other nostril. Mm-hmm. We're at like button. eight. Belly button for sure. Tikal. What is Tikal? That's a... Uh... Please Tikal my ass. Tikal, yes. I love yes. getting my asshole Tikal. <laughs> One of my 36 sex chambers, my asshole. It done stay flexed. I got a, a tight sphincter flexed permanently. Thinking about a man named Victor. That means champion, warrior, mm-hmm. Wu-Tang. Yes. The sex warriors. Yes. Japanese style. Cut mm-hmm. your dick off with a sword. My dick's real small, but I got a sword. Yeah. Wu-Tang. Killer That's bees. It, That's it, son. Hey, son, tell him what's good. I don't know. That's I, pretty I can't. good. Thirty sex chambers. I, yeah, thirty sex chambers. I wish I was. I could freestyle. So that'd be good. Yeah. Sometimes that, when I get really high, I can freestyle. Sometimes when I get really high, I get racist. Yes. Well, that's what I mean. When I say freestyle, I mean I get high and I scream obscenities. Yeah, that's the N word. Mm-hmm. Some other spicy the classic. Ones. The N word sort of the Coca Cola classic of Absolutely. the source. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. You just enjoy it. What's uh, Pepsi? Um. Is it? Uh, ooh. I don't know. The one for Jews? No. I don't know. I wasn't even included. I was thinking in terms of Pepsi products at large. You know, mm. so you go, N-word is Coca-Cola. Of course. Sprite is also the N-word. <laughs> They're pretty much all I the guess, N-word. you know what? I guess the answer here is I love soda. And then they do this, they do the thing Except where you... Except for grape soda. You go outside here in Astoria and you say all the slurs at once and that's called doing a suicide. <laughs> You will get jumped. That's, That's right. We're back in Astoria. Mm-hmm. This time we're in the sex, the sex Stavros' sex chambers. The we're thirty my, sex chambers. We're in my room. I'm lounging on my damn bed where I've had sex with lots of women. And Nick is on Eldis's office chair, which we rolled in from his room. Mm-hmm. He is still in Paris. Eldis Actually, is... I think he's in London now. Where's my chair? <laughs> Where's my chair that I make beats on? <laughs> That's right. Eldis does make beats. You know, if I was going to steal Eldis's MIDI keyboard. No, don't do that. I got my own, but good. I was going to take his. That's good. You know? Mm-hmm. That's me. Smash and grab. That's right, dude. Someone lets you into their home. Tactical. <laughs> and you steal, you pa- steal their roommates. Powerfully things. tactical. I get that. You know, it's just from my time in the military. I can't... I get it, man. I know. So you can't turn that switch off. You know, it's like, where did my MIDI keyboard go? I'm like, yeah, and Nick took it. He's like, why? And you're like, you know, he's a veteran. Yeah. You know how they are. Mm-hmm. PTSD, probably taking shit, don't belong to me. <laughs> uh, mine is pussy tastes super delicious. I prefer to take shit that doesn't belong to me. <laughs> PTSD. Um, I'm also prone to violent outbursts. You know? That's PTVO. PTVO. I don't know. I'm just, I was just describing the symptoms now. I wasn't doing the letters anymore. Oh, okay. Um, speaking of buying shit, shout out to everybody that's uh, made the uh, the grand opening of the Come Dot Town mm-hmm. store uh, a success. I know the prices are. Uh, I know you're being gouged, but hey, you know, drop shipping. You got to have. You know, the margins are so small, you got to rip people, really fucking rip people off. Yeah. So if you're the guy that spent $69 on the gayest kid in school backpack. <laughs> Salute to you, my hey friend. Hey, man. I Thank pre- you. We got, I, if you, you come to a show, I will sign uh, my name, Both Stav's name, nuts. Adam's name. I will sign Adam's social security number. That's right. Directly on the backpack for you. And I will sign my name uh, in your asshole with my tongue. That's a promise. Um, that's cool. You remember when people were like, you know how you get a girl off? You'd spell the alphabet on her pussy. Yeah, that's lazy to me. Yeah. I eat pussy from the heart. I don't need a fucking, I don't need a fucking, you know, step-by-step guide. Yeah, why do you follow a system? Absolutely. I close my eyes and I'm I a, Yeah, I'm a... I'm on a cliff with I'm an fucking, artist. With wind blowing through my hair because when I close my eyes, I have long, beautiful hair. Yeah, you know? You, you wear the pussy hair like a toupee. <laughs> that's right. I have, I have a fucking... I have a beautiful toupee made out of all the pussy hairs of all the women whose pussies yeah. I've ever eaten. Mm-hmm. Every time it grows larger, <laughs> and it's yeah. just a giant, beautiful fro. That'd be like wind. a cool. That'd be a cool way to pick up girls. It's like, hey, girl, I know you think I'm bald, but I actually lost all my hair eating pussy. That's right. Eating <laughs> other pussies. I'm eating pussy at the at this. I break you the sound I barrier. lost my teeth. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. So I became a toothless bald man. Anyways, do you want to go see I, Tanya? <laughs> 
I like I, Tanya because I'm a feminist. I would support a movie where no, a, wom- a woman has never done anything wrong. But that's so funny because Tanya Harding is a horrible person, and they make is her she? look pretty cool in there. Yeah. She was in on the plot 100% in real life. I don't know anything about that story, and I really don't give I a do. shit. I was kind of annoyed that they made that movie. Anytime there's like a trend, you know, I mm-hmm. buck it. You know what Whoa, I'm saying? Whoa, dude, that's cool of you. Yeah, dude. I'm so done. you're telling me what's what's popular, you go the other way? I go the other way. All the wow. time. Every time, dude. <laughs> but no, all, all this like the 90s true crime stuff, it's like, you know, it's just annoying when like the, it entertain, was the entertainment industry will hit it out of the park. And they've always done this. So they'll hit it out of the park with one thing and they're like, oh, that's it. That's got it. Let's fucking, let's just, just beat this thing to death. Right. I mean, you know, that's... The O.J. Doc was good as hell. Yeah, and then they do it... I mean, they've they've done it with, like, look at all the fucking Marvel movies. And it's because of what? Spider-Man? Spider-Man was really good? No, it wasn't even that good. No, the first Spider-Man? It wasn't that good. It was great. With Tobey Maguire? Uh, I don't remember it being that good. I remember it being good. No, dude. Yeah. Your dick is actually small. It was not good. No. Batman Begins, My you dick fucking was retard. That's big why. At the time. That's why. That's, first of everything. all, that's DC. Second of all, it's not But that's why a DC all the shit came back around. That's why everything was doing. Well, because of reboots. Batman Begins? Hell yeah, dude. Spider Man, you're right. Spider Man was the first one to, like, kind of get Spider-Man it. Spider Man was the first big Marvel blockbuster that wasn't a complete piece of shit. X Men came out first, and X Men kind of sucked. Sucked dick, yeah. But, but when... it was still cool because everyone loved the X Men. Yeah. <laughs> I went to see. Or maybe I'm just talking from personal experience. But when I when I saw Spider Man in theaters, I was like, that was perfect. And I remember thinking, like, oh, they should just do this. I mean, this is like such an easy formula. So right. I guess I was kind of complicit in that because the studios read my thoughts. Oh and my they went god, dude! So actually, wait, how do you buck a trend if you started it? Um, because I, at the time, people thought superhero movies were bad because they had made a bunch mm. of bad ones. So I was being. I was, you know, counterculture. Mm. The beatnik thing to do back then yes, was yes. to like those movies. You were that guy who uh, who wrote Jack Kerouac. You were Jack Kerouac. I'm Jack Offawack. Jack Offawack. <laughs> Jack Offa Man. <laughs> <laughs> on the load. <laughs> yeah, on the load. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, uh, I don't support I, Tanya because the villain is made out to be a fat man, and that's just – that's against our community. He's not really the villain, though. Yes, he is. They make the husband out to be – actually, no, they kind the of make Nancy Kerrigan villain. out to be the villain because she didn't the enjoy the Olympics. Yeah, fucking That's bitch. the final note in the movie is like, you know, I may have contracted to have that bitch almost killed, <laughs> but I'll tell you what. I came in 35th place because I'm a sociopathic you know, drunk, but she got silver and she wasn't freaking smiling. She wasn't freaking smiling she and Napoleon. <laughs> no, look, but that's how she talks, I think. Freaking laser beams. Yeah. Yeah, how about you don't? <laughs> um, I saw Black Listen, Panther. Listen, Sadie. I guess Sadie got in trouble. Did she? Yeah. For what? Um, for, I don't know, the shark, not putting the shark. That was a fun episode. Remember when we did that? Yeah, yeah. You want to run that back real quick? Uh, what? F- woke Bastard. And oh, yeah. Fat. Yeah, there was a lot of good shit it's on good that stuff, one. good stuff, man. The Australian Retard. Uh, yeah, it's a classic. Yeah. That's back when we, you know, we podcasted for the love of it, not just to peddle gayest kid in school backpacks. <laughs> yeah, not to sell sixty nine dollar backpacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude! I'm gonna become a backpack millionaire. I love that, dude. I know. I love that idea. Oh, yeah, I love it because it has nothing to do with Cumtown. We've <laughs> yeah. never mentioned that backpack. <laughs> There's no. <laughs> It is solely a backpack that says gayest kid in school. It's not even like a, a, a spin off of a riff. Yeah. It's just... I fucked up the lettering too. I made yeah. it like all scratchy and shitty looking. <laughs> salud, baby. Salud. Hey, how about this though? Suck my. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <clears throat> S my D, and you'll see a world of anal A tiny penetration. little penis. Just Take my pants. In. Off my legs, <laughs> and you'll discover a tiny little penis. <laughs> That's about you. What? Yep. No, I started doing that. I Don't know, turn but my you're song the... against me. Why? Because it's about my song is about being gay. I guess you're right. Thanks, man. I guess it means you're a right. Lot. I shouldn't be doing that. I was laughing the other day about a movie. You know, you've seen Rear Window, right? Of course. So it's Queer Window, and it's mm. just an old handicapped guy that's homophobic, and there's <laughs> two gay guys across the street that keep fucking each other. <laughs> In front of the window, and he keeps calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking queers are doing it again. <laughs> All right, Mr. McDougal, please stop calling us. 
<laughs> I've got to wait till you see. I'm going to stop him. And then Gets they come shotgun, over to his place. Sniper? Then they have sex in his apartment. What? At the end. What the fuck? How does that happen? I don't know. That's how Rear Window ends. Really? I think. Actually, you know what? And I know people are going to get on my case for this, but I've never seen the original Rear, rear Window. Me I've either. only seen the Shia remake. LaBeouf. No. The Christopher Reeves oh, remake. Oh, yes. That came out right after his accident. Mm-hmm. Where they're like, we got to find something to put him in besides live action Pinocchio where he's just <laughs> a, a marionette. Well, is that it's, real? Yeah, he's in a rear window remake. No, no, was the Pinocchio? Was he a marionette? Oh no, no, no. <laughs> he was string up his. Yeah, he's yeah. Just paralyzed. Weekend at Bernie's, starring Christopher Reeves. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, that's so funny. He plays like... Uma Thurman's character in the paralyzed scene in the in Kill Bill. Oh yeah, she's he's in the, the one that gets fucked by Chuck. Yeah, yeah. Buck. My name is Buck, and I'm here to fuck. I used to be Superman. <laughs> I'm fully con. My head is fully con. He's, really yeah. so fucked He's just ass. getting fucked, and he can't feel it. He just feels the back of his head slightly moving up and down against the pillow behind him. As a janitor has sex with his limp body. Please stop! I was super wet. Please stop! I was friends with Robin Williams. Isn't that weird? I was. Um, Me and Robin Williams went to Juilliard together, or something. I was the reason people didn't like superhero movies for twenty years. Please stop fucking my ass. That I can't feel. <laughs> but your soul feels it. It's true. It's a Danny Glover is his guardian mm, angel. Love his ass. Your soul feel it, don't it? <laughs> Just because your body can't feel it, don't mean your soul can't feel that thing. <laughs> Wait, Danny Glover from Angels in the Outfield? <laughs> yeah, but, no, but he's now he's the guardian angel. From Kill Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I like this movie better. All right, so it's Christopher <laughs> Reeve as Uma Thurman and Kill Bill yeah. getting fucked yeah. by Buck, and then Danny Glover from Angels in the Outfield is his guardian angel. His guardian angel is explaining like, "That's how you know God is real, son, because you might not be able to feel your asshole getting stretched out by this your toothless janitor, but your soul feel it." You so feel, you so feel every drop of nut in there. Go ahead, ask him how many squirts he did. I bet it's four, isn't it? You knew in your heart it was four squirts, not three, not five. He had, you felt four pulses in the soul, and that's how many times he nutted. He tossed four little ropes right up in your cold, loose, broken asshole. Oh damn! Please stop. Please stop narrating my rape. <laughs> yeah, he's in the room. He can stop it at any moment. <laughs> yeah. Can you please stop this from happening? I got next. I'm sorry. I, I used up all my magic making sure a pizza got delivered to my other client within 30 minutes. I know that seems like a waste of my angel powers, but he really wanted that pizza. <laughs> oh, fuck. What else did Chris, was Chris Reeves in other movies? All I know him from is Superman. He must have had like a big career, right? Wasn't he like a famous guy? Um, I think he played the dog in The Mask. That's right. That was him. That may have been a Jack Russell Terrier, though. No, I'm pretty sure it was him. Oh, it was. He was friends with Robert Williams, though. Didn't they go like acting school together? Um, that's what I thought. Did they? I think so. And Robin Williams went to acting school? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's why he's in all those movies. Yeah, what the fuck? I was hoping that era would come back where you got to just be like kind of a shitty comedian for a while and then they let you be like a famous movie star yeah, that what makes the billions fuck? of dollars. What was it? But you couldn't be good at com. You'd have to be weirdly good at comedy. Like Jim Carrey and Robin Williams. And yeah, like, you'd have that's to be true. Like, I guess Kevin Kevin Hart did that shit. That's true. I was, I, I was hoping maybe me and you would get to be in like That'd be fun. Ocean's 8. Oceans six nine. Oceans eight is the guys that have sex with the the ocean ladies. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, because Oceans six is coming up. Is Oceans that... eight is coming out, or it okay. already did, but it was, you know, people it already only... came out. I I don't know. I mean, no way. I, like I feel like I feel like back. Oceans eight was coming out, and people are like the girl power, but they kind of blew that load already. And then Black Panther came out, and people are like, oh yeah, nobody gives a shit about women. Right, right, We're right, back right, to right, right, right. The fellas, that's what we want to see, is fellas. Black fellas. Mm-hmm. Black Panther rocked. I saw it in, uh, I went at 11 a.m. matinee, and I was like, this would be great, like, everyone's, it'll be fucking empty, and it was nothing but school field trips, just lazy-ass teachers being like, yep, this is mm-hmm. learning, going to see Black Panther. Lazy-ass teachers. Yeah. 
I'm tired of these lazy ass teachers. I am too, man. <laughs> Taking kids to see fucking Black Panther on yeah. a school day. I'm supposed to be there. And then they're just like, it's that same teacher next week. It's like, Daddy's Home too. It's in a very important <laughs> film. These kids need to know that there's daddies that come home sometimes. It's important for children without a father figure in the home to have multiple of them. Four of them. Mm-hmm. Will Ferrell, mm-hmm. Mark Wahlberg, John Lithgow, I think. Is he? I only watched the first ten minutes of Daddy's Home too. It was mm-hmm. funny, though. Yeah, you said that. Yeah. Um, there's also a mentally challenged young man who was moaning throughout the movie and the little kids the young Oh, I kids. thought you meant in Daddy's Home too, like that was a character in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Just like a mongoloid that's like oh, No, but that's seen? actually exactly what the guy sounded if like. If that had happened, I'd be like comedy's coming back, baby. <laughs> and all the little kids were laughing at him and it was, you know, mm-hmm. kind of fucked up of them if I th- I think. Yeah. You know. That's my. That's well, what I, want I to guess. Say. I guess we know the obvious answer is that the next movie to come out needs to be Retarded Panther. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that we already had. It, you know, they did the gay version of that movie like fifty years ago. Pink Panther, of mm-hmm. course. Yes. Yeah. Sucking a dick. Yeah, that movie's about a spy that has to suck off guys to get secrets, right? Yeah. By the way, I would be so susceptible. If there was a sexy... I've seen commercials for that Jennifer Lawrence movie where she's like a sexy Russian lady who like fucks to get secrets or whatever. What what, what are you talking about? Bread, Scarlet something. Bread, bread, Scarlet? Scarlet uh, something. Scarlet bread? Red something. Scarlet bread? No, no, no. Red, Red Phoenix or some shit? Red bread? No, no, she's like a Russian bitch, and she's like a double agent or something. But it's a bread movie? No, Red. Oh, Red. R-E-D. Oh. Uh, and I guess the plot is she's a secret agent, and she fucks for secrets. And uh, I would, if I had any secrets, I would, immediately, if a hot girl wanted to fuck me, I would give them to her. Oh, I mean, I people tell me secrets, and I just immediately go tell everyone. <laughs> Regardless of getting of getting the thing pussy is, that people don't understand is like I'm a storyteller. Sure, I, lo- I love telling stories. Mm-hmm. I love any any kind of juicy details, gossip, tidbits. It's not that I'm trying to fuck you over as a friend. It's just like I'm a journalist, mm-hmm. you know. And I sure. need to. Re- Nobody will publish anything I say, so I have to just repeat things you say to me in confidence to as many people as possible. as many people as possible. Specifically, the people you don't want knowing about. Mm, interesting, you know. So, give us an example. Like, let's say someone told you, uh, I don't know, a family. <laughs> no, uh, let's say someone told you they fucked, they cheated on their girlfriend. Uh huh. W- would you tell? Who would you tell right away? Uh, well, you know, I would. Yeah, I wouldn't do that shit where you, you know, tell the girlfriend. Sure, you obviously, would tell. I would use that information to have sex with their girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of, sort of like telling them. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if I would do that either. No, you wouldn't. In fact, I think I would be on the man's side. As, as a matter of principle. Ooh, how about this? Woman cheats on her boyfriend. What do you do in that situation? I, then I also try to fuck the woman. <laughs> because she's already cheated once. That's true. They're all, yeah, she's a whore, clearly. Yeah. Well, they're all whores. I was reading this book yeah. that was saying how they're all whores. I was watching this uh, Jordan Peterson video the other day. Yes, exactly. Norman Norman likes Jordan Peterson. Does he? And he sent me <laughs> he sent me this video where Jordan Peterson goes, and I think that uh, if you look at uh, autism, and uh, you know, I mean, there's a theory that autism is actually uh, an overexposure to testosterone in the womb. <laughs> So, you, you could deduce from that that uh, autism is hypermasculinity. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. That's, that's... exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. You know all those jacked autistic oh, I, I mean, That's the thing. It's like, I don't really fuck with Jordan Peterson, but his whole thing is like, you know, let's call things what they are. You know, <laughs> is that what he sounds like? I've never heard him yeah, speak. Yeah, he sounds like air slowly <laughs> leaking out of a, a already like weak old balloon. <laughs> you know, three days after the birthday party, yeah, type yeah, of yeah. Shit. After yeah. the after your infant died, the day after its birthday, and you left the balloons on the floor of your 
efficiency <laughs> apartment. You pick up one of those balloons and you slowly let the air out. It's like trans people aren't real. <laughs> but this whole thing is like, you know, let's call a spade a spade or right, whatever, right, right, you know. Right, right. None of this PC and it's like, shit. Actually, autistic people are hyper masculine. Right, 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 right. Is he autistic? Oh, sure. Yeah, the people that sit around watching uh, sh- television shows for four year old girls <laughs> that it will be permanently dependent on their mother and can never leave home. Wait, Those is, are... that, is that autistic? What's that? Is that autistic? Oh, yeah. People that are like bronies, that's autism. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. You bet your ass. Okay. Autistic is a little less bad. Or it's not as, you know, debilitating or whatever as regular medical retardation. <laughs> Medi- <laughs> your son is medically retarded. Yeah. Um, is he is, is Jordan Peterson autistic? Um, I mean, I wouldn't think so, but after he said that, maybe. Yeah. Actually, autistic people have very big dicks. Yeah. <laughs> They're actually the guys that fuck the mm-hmm. most. <laughs> um, it's actually, uh... It's actually gay to get pussy. Is a study that I've done recently. I've, here at the University of Canada, I ran a study that says that if your dick is under four inches, it's actually big, and that if your dick is over eight, that it's small. And so, if you're a an autistic retard with a four-inch dick, you're actually the, the smartest, most fuckable guy in the world. And if women don't have sex with you, they should be in jail. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Woo! Mr. Peterson, thank you. Mr. Peterson, a question? <laughs> question from the audience, Mr. Peterson? <laughs> what about my dick? How does this look to you? Um, it's smaller than mine. I don't need to look at it, but I have the biggest dick. <laughs> Please give me money. <laughs> Hell yeah. Canada's yeah. foremost scholar on getting pussy, mm-hmm. Jordan Peterson. I was just about to say that I was just in Canada, but I wasn't. I was in Boston, <laughs> which felt like Canada. Have you, You've been to Canada before. You went to Montreal. I went to Montreal. What's you the northernmost you've ever been? Probably Montreal. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I've never been to Canada. I Montreal. To Montreal. I, I was thinking about buying property in Alaska. Yeah, you you were on that Alaska tip for a while. Yeah, well, there's no property tax. You can just buy it and sit on it. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what you did with my dick earlier today. I did. I, what? <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had record scratch sound. That effect. would be good. We could get sound effects. We could. I just need to bring that MIDI keyboard and the computer set up, and then. No, I got the little. I got the dongle. I could do Tim Allen. You know. Oh yeah. I was laughing. The, I woke up the other morning imagining. A version of Home Improvement where uh, Tim Allen's like, rah, 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 rah. but it's just he's saying the N word, <laughs> but in that same like kind of voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Jill's like, Tim. <laughs> Was there ever a single black person on Home Improvement? Never once. Never. Never once. Never in a single episode did they ever have a black person on that show. <laughs> and you can look it up. I guarantee you that's the truth. I feel like I feel like I'm remembering a black guy wearing a tool belt, but I yeah. I, just, I think it's just a guy from The Office. No, you're just remembering a time you went to Home Depot. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gay. Uh, uh, that's the sound I make every time I, my dick goes into pussy. Is it? Mm-hmm. Uh, my, uh, I go, uh, actually. <laughs> actually, this. Actually. <laughs> Every time I come, every time I come, it sounds like the weekend singing. Yeah. It's Jordan, it's Jordan Peterson. He puts his dick in a girl and he's like, she's like, is it in yet? And then he's like, oh, sh- shut up. And he starts punching her in the face. <laughs> and then she's like, are you punching me in the face? <laughs> are you punching me yet? <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> shut up. Uh, is my man married? What's Jay Peterson up to? What's that? Do he be getting pussy? Does JP get pussy? I don't know, dude. I don't really know anything about Jordan Peterson other than Is he somebody, Scott Peterson? Somebody came up to me. I, I found out about him like a year ago. Uh-huh. Somebody came up to me and they are like, do you know who Jordan Peterson is? And I was like, uh-huh. no. And they were like, you would love him. Also. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, which means I wouldn't. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Because again, nobody knows the real me. Mm-hmm. You know? Nobody yeah. knows. When people zag, you zig. Yeah. 
because um, when people fig you. F- Never mind. You know, I'm hard to. People know my art. You know, mm-hmm. they know the yes, the, the, art. the presentation <laughs> I have, <laughs> but they don't know the real me. That oh. a man is in his art. You know, mm-hmm. dude, dude that he's must actually be tough. nobler. Oh, yeah. You've got a code. <laughs> I love that you have this window so I can look at the horizon. While yeah. I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You look pretty majestic actually yeah, yeah, saying yeah. this dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, almost an intellectual. What do you think of my plants, dude? They look good. I just started doing bonsai. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, but I got, I got, got, uh, I got seeds, so it's going to oh, take... Oh, you're going to tr- grow them from fucking scratch, huh? Yeah, dude. I'm not adopting a plant. Yeah, why? What, like some woman with a broken pussy? <laughs> You think that's your child? It's not. Look, if you adopt kids, you're a fucking bitch, dude. Your fucking dick doesn't work. Your balls and your pussy are broken. Yeah, that's true. You can't have. You can't make your own children. Nick's right about that. <laughs> I can't imagine being so much as a coward to adopt a child. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that is very fucking true, man. I want to actually adopt a child, dude. I want to make one and I want to adopt one. Yeah, I want to adopt a bunch of black kids just to take them to see Black Panther every single day mm-hmm. for the rest of their lives. And then they fail all the regents because I've just been taking them to <laughs> subsequent viewings of Black Panther over and over again. They've never learned anything. Dad, please. We don't want to see the movie You are going to sit here and watch Space Jam <laughs> until you're Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> you need this for your self-esteem. Dad, We're going to watch every single fucking episode of Martin. Can I learn math, please? No. <laughs> You're going to watch a, a, a version of Amadeus that I've color corrected to make Mozart black. <laughs> I just want to read that. I don't know what, what letters are. <laughs> We're learning the Crip alphabet. <laughs> The only letters I know are C-R-I-P <laughs> from the gang signs you taught me. <laughs> from the hand signs. That would be a great character to do. You just, And by character, I mean an actual thing people do and a way to live your life is you adopt a black kid and then you go around with like a bunch of like pan-Africanist clothes on. Oh, the yeah. I mean, technically, you do have a black child. Do I? You know? No, no, no. I mean, in oh. that scenario. Oh, I just got worried for a second. Yeah, yeah. Ronaldo Fink Mullen. Yeah. What was your fake baby's name? Was that it? That was it. Ronaldo Fink. <laughs> That was so awesome. I still can't believe how many of those. For everyone that does, I don't know if we've talked about it, but Nick, when he first moved to Baltimore, pretended to have a son on Twitter and Facebook. And then, like, three days, like, people were, like, congratulating him, and he did a couple bits about him, and then he, I think he got tired of it, so you just said he died. Yeah. And then you did in an a, R.I.P. post. In, a, in he, a beer fire. Yeah, he said he died in a beer fire. But I was posting all this bullshit about how I can't afford, like, a crib, so he just sleeps in my, like, laundry basket. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And we were like, ooh, jeez, I don't know about <laughs> yeah. this. And uh, and you posted an R.I.P. status, and you used Jadakiss. Was it Jadakiss R.I.P.? Who is, is that? Is it Jad? No, that's not Jadakiss. No. No, no, no. That's uh Oh, right, P, we just killed the club. Yeah, that's Jeezy. That's right. That's right. Yes, yes, yeah. young Jeezy. And you posted R.I.P. my beautiful son, Ronaldo <laughs> Wayne Mullen. R.I.P. And, and you R. R. had to link the YouTube video to that song. <laughs> R.I.P. We just killed the club. <laughs> and then, like, people, I remember a couple different people came up to me personally and were like, hey, man, I've been trying to reach Nick to, to, give, him my, <laughs> to give him my condolences yeah. for his son. And I was like, what I was like, bitch, fuck? I'm at the club. You can't reach me. <laughs> R.I.P. We just killed the club. <laughs> Patron out the cup almost killed the thug. R.I.P. R.I.P. Just listening to that song because your son died. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. A little funeral, a little baby yeah. funeral. No, I remember when we went to uh, Tom Myers' album recording. Yes. And uh, I saw him, and I was like, Tom, you have any drink tickets? You know? And he's like, no, nah, they didn't uh, They didn't comp any of my stuff. And he was like... Uh, Oh, congratulations, by the way, yeah. on your son. I was like, what? And he was like, congratulations on your, having a son. And I was like, oh, thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Like, you now would be a horrible father, but you then, it's like, yeah. would be criminal negligence to have a child. <laughs> it would be so fucked up. Yeah, dude, just living in that clown's house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> you a raped army clown. <laughs> <laughs> you and your son sharing a three bedroom with a raped army clown. His ex wife, his drunk ex wife. Yeah, his ex wife in the other bedroom. <laughs> Just listening to podcasts all day. <laughs> wow, foreshadowing, dude. Who yeah. would have known? Yeah, dude. That shit was so funny. I met up with her. It was that night uh, I did Magoobies and then like blacked out and I had to sleep in your brother's room. Yes. And then I was still drunk when I woke up, so I was like, oh, it just dropped me off at the shopping center and I'll just kill eight and a half hours there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll just, yeah, I dropped you off on my way I'll to sit, work. I'll sit at McDonald's you... for eight and a half hours. Did while she you're drop work. you off or did I drop you, you off? You dropped me off there because you were going to White Marsh for work. For work, yes. And uh, after like... Back when I was a fucking paralegal. 40 minutes of sitting at McDonald's, like knowing I was just going to throw up if I didn't, <laughs> you know, get more alcohol in me or right. whatever. I called her and then she came and picked me up in a zip car. Hell yeah. And then spent her disability money at the liquor store. <laughs> And then we went back to her place, and she's like, yeah, I'm still trying to get my kid back. <laughs> I remember the time you spinning it as like, hey, there's people worse than me. <laughs> I'm going to keep oh, drinking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're like, dude, it's pretty nice it. knowing some people I remember are feeling that way. I was like, fuck, I'm a fucking drunk, dude. I'm like, just a complete fuck up. And then I hung out with her, and was like, I guess I'm okay. Dude, there was a pep in your step for a week after hanging out with her. <laughs> you were like... <laughs> God damn, what a damn. I love Baltimore, man. Mm-hmm. I really do. I want to go back and just buy a, buy a house and make it a fucking a fortress, dude. Yeah. Have gun turrets on it. That'd be cool. Keep everyone away. Yeah. I want to buy like three houses and make them knock all the walls down in between them and make one big ass. We house. should all buy we should buy a studio for down there. I would love to, dude. Let's do it. I can I got the we cash should. for that right now. Let's fucking do it. I'd go in <laughs> the thing is, if I bought property there, I would want to buy commercial property so that I could use it for, like, warehousing and shit. There's probably shit you could, like, zo- that's both. You could do both. Yeah? Yeah, for hmm. sure. Definitely, like, depending on the neighborhood, too. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I want a little fucking... Because it would be cool to have a little spot down there. Go down be more, get my nuts licked. I'm thinking about buying a house there, too, if I can save enough money this year. Yeah. Why don't you just pay off your parents? Do your parents have a mortgage? It's paid off. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say, you do that, and then you can lord it over them. No, I don't want anything to do with you my You twist fucking... your parents' arms. Yeah, 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 yeah. You say, yeah. listen to me, you fucking asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I own you. Evict my father and mother. You can feel it in you. You can feel that dick in your ass, don't you? That's the dick of your heart. That's your, your heart's ass. <laughs> He nuts his fucking your ass, ass. Son, son, feel, f- listen to your heart and listen to your heart's asshole. <laughs> and you can feel that dick going. <laughs> you hear? <laughs> That's the sound of your heart getting raped. <laughs> Is my dad gonna come back? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. I'm trying to manage this baseball team. I, I can only do two things: manage baseball teams. And make pizza show up on time. <laughs> Is that even an angel's power? <laughs> Are you just a delivery guy? <laughs> <laughs> Man, Angels in the Outfield. What a fucked up movie. I know. Uh, my favorite part about that movie is, like, first of all, the ridiculous premise. I love it. That a man can give his son up at, for adoption at 12 or 15 know, years I old. Know. A fully formed, like, human. Yeah, right. He's, like, a year or two because, away from being Because he doesn't want to go to Home Depot and get house keys made so the boy can let him in, uh, in by himself after school. <laughs> Was that it? Was that what started it? The mo- yeah, the movie starts and the dad, played by, like, Dermot Mulroney or some shit, is, like... Uh, I want to go ride my motorcycle. Yeah, I thought he was going on like a motorcycle. He's going trip. on a motorcycle tour, and he can't bring his son with him, so he puts his son up for adoption. <laughs> <laughs> and the son has to go live in a in a foster home. And then at the end of the movie, you know, he's like, "Well, he's like, Dad, will we ever be a family again?" And the dad's like, "Yeah, maybe if the angels win the pennant, you know," which is Love like it. so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, to sarcastically threaten your son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the angels suck dick, right? Yeah. That's the whole point. Right, yeah. And, uh, and... <laughs> yeah, right, you fucking idiot. Maybe if you learn how to fucking dunk a basketball, you child. Yeah, right. He's like, they're in year zero of a 35-year rebuild. I yeah. will not have to worry about this <laughs> at all. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, the angels win the pennant. And, uh... 
And then he's like, Dad, can we be a family again? And he's like, nah. Nah, fuck you, you're gay. He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Welsh on that bet. I've been getting so much pussy on the road on this motorcycle. Well, anyways, the, my favorite part is at the end when, like, Danny Glover, like, comes to the son, or the, the main kid, and he's like, pack up your shit. I'm taking you out of this fucking shithole. I'm going to be your dad now. And then the black kid who he's friends with just starts crying in the background. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, boy, I get to be adopted by a man I've been friends with for, I don't know, a baseball season. Yeah, maybe? yeah, 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 seven months. <laughs> yeah, right. It's just, it, this old black man is yeah. going <laughs> to be my father. <laughs> Instead of, like, the nice matronly white woman that only had, like, two kids in her ward. And she seemed fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, I, how, how is it that he has zero relationship with her? I know. Anyways, so you go, I'm going to be your dad now. And then the black kid starts crying, and he's like, wait, I don't know if I could leave Anthony behind. He's like, oh, oh. yeah, I guess I'll adopt him too. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know him at all. <laughs> yeah, he's like, well, he just adds on. He's like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah no, I'm going to adopt him. Listen, I'm going to rape both of these children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like so funny because it's like he just let that boy cry thinking yeah, he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was going to lose his best friend, yeah. not get adopted. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, uh, Angels in the Outfield, baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, that movie used to always be on in my at my uh, doctor's office, either that or Fern Gully. Yeah. And what I remember from Fern Gully is that... I used to love Fern Gully when I was a kid. Is that that little fucking Tinkerbell knockoff type bitch was sexy as shit. Uh-huh. That's what I remember from Fern Gully. She yeah. had a little two-piece... Yeah. Kind of like a furry bikini type of Tim thing. Tim Curry is the bad guy. It's pollution. He rules, man. Tim Curry yeah. knocks everything out of the park. Yeah. Except, doesn't he have some fucked up disease now? Um, he can't, like, really move. He's in, like, a oh, wheelchair. Oh, he's got part, or, like, MS or something? I don't know. It sucks, dude. The, living sucks. The world, everyone dies or gets fucking sick of shit. Yeah, dude. That's why you gotta, you know, you may think it's... Life is gay as you fuck. You may think it's stupid, but if I could be serious for a moment, like, a lot of you guys probably spend a lot of time depressed or whatever, and it's like, you just need to, like, bite the bullet... Buy a sixty-nine dollar backpack. backpack. Do the things that are just gonna make you happy. Because you're gonna look back on your life and you're gonna say, "What was I happier with? That sixty-nine dollars that ended up having to go to child support, anyways, <laughs> yeah. or a fun backpack right. that I could not give to my son, who I'm not allowed to see." <laughs> hey, maybe what you want is a, a, a t-shirt with a naked me and my butt cheeks out. Those are, there are Stavi Golden Angels tees out there now, too, baby. Yeah. Buy some of those. Fuck, I forgot I got to go to the post office after this and mail off all those shirts. Oh, fuck. That's going to be... Man, I'm so glad I figured out a way to not have to do fulfillment yeah, myself. Yeah, that sucks dick. To, if you're one of the 38 people that got a shirt, I'm on my way to the post office today, or, well, I guess yesterday. It's Saturday. Hopefully, they're not closed by then. Ooh, fuck. But I got to reconcile... Man, I had, like, one guy that's, like... Send everything. I send the PayPal. He pays. And he's like, oh, by the way, that's the wrong zip code. Here's the right one. And it's not even close. Why like, would... I don't know how you fucked that up. Yeah, but... dude. Fulfillment sucks. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Let me see what time these motherfuckers close. Oh, they're closed. Oh, the post office is closed already. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there's your answer. I guess the shirts will be going out Monday. <laughs> There's one right here, too. That sucks. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I took a lift here, then, instead of just fucking biking. That's fucking gay as shit. Yeah, I just wasted $30. Then, again, this is like another cost of, like... Mm -hmm. Write that off, baby. Well, I I will write it off, but, I mean, you don't make any money selling fucking merch. I know. You know, I thought, like, oh, well, I do everything myself. The margins would be higher. They're really not. Yeah. They just suck. You just have to do more work, and... Yeah. I mean, they're, like, a dollar higher, and you worked, like... You know, ten hours or some shit. Yeah, and working sucks my hog. That's yeah. my. That's what I think anyway. Working does suck. Ooh, I just had a hot flash. Really? Are I think going I'm through menopause. Yeah, I'm going through menopause. Let me see your pussy. Is it dried up? It is. Hold on. Whoa, dude, that's a very dry. Hold on. Does that feel better? Sounds like your mouth is dry, also. Does it feel better? What if you went through mouth pause and you weren't able to? Eat oh anymore? no! Is that what's happening to your tooth? Yeah. Yeah, by the way, we didn't speak about it, but uh, I bit down too hard on a chicken wing with my fucked up tooth, and now I can't eat with the right side of my mouth. So, Yeah, sucks. it looks like it's going to come out any time. Literally, there is a hole between my tooth and my gum right now. There's a yeah. hole in the middle. I could squirt. Stav's mouth looks like you know, like a cartoon gets fucking hit in the face with a sledgehammer, and then they like <laughs> smile, and it's like a piano. <laughs> <laughs> and then the keys fall out. Yeah, dude. 
So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going to the dentist three thirty on Monday, and we have Funny Moms that night, and uh, maybe I'll be fucked up. Who yeah, knows? I want to smoke a cigar. Do you want to? Yeah, maybe I'll leave these. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave these shirts here, and then I'll just bike up here, and then do because I don't want to have to take a lift back. How are you getting back? I'm train? gonna take the train. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take the train back, leave the shirts here, bike up here, do the post office shit tomorrow or Monday, I guess. Okay. And then uh, bike home. God damn, I gotta take a huge dump too now. Is that worth it? Uh, it's worth it to not take a, another lift. It'll save me thirty five dollars if I take a lift back home. Why can't you take them on the train? I don't want to drag that huge bag on the train. I thought you were strong, dude. Uh, I'm strong in short bursts. You know, okay. like I can fuck for like 30 seconds. I can fuck for. And it's the, I call that the women's opportunity to come window. <laughs> That's you better get your shit off in that 30 seconds that I think I'm pleasuring you by hitting furiously the, the f- fucking as hard as I can. <laughs> because that's what women like to be just vigorously fucked like a, you know. Like a, a spastic. I mean, some of them do. Uh, yeah, sometimes. They really like a, a nice, hard dicking. Yeah. You know? Which can be tough when, you know, you don't have the core strength to do yeah. that. You know? Or the, or the aerobic stamina. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not, I'm not talking about it more specifically. I sometimes, I think, I, I don't think I would be strong enough to, to have gay sex. Mm. I feel like that's why those guys are all in shape. It's true. You got to be fucking strong. They're athletes, dude. Yeah. Fuck. I couldn't keep up. Unless, of I... course, unless of course you're fucking somebody that has a guardian angel. <laughs> that's right. In which case, <laughs> that seems like it would be pretty easy. I guess I would have to get fucked out of just necessity. Yeah. Because I couldn't do the fucking of that's a man. That's the bare necessities. <laughs> the simple bare necessities is Mateo was fucked. talking about... He was like, I can't be a top. He was like, there's so much pressure, you know. It's like you're fucking someone the first time. It's like so much easier. I was like, damn, I want to be a bottom with a woman. Yeah. Is that possible? You literally just are on the bottom. I guess that's true. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Although sometimes it's, yeah. I fell asleep one time. On bottom? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Were you still hard? Uh, yeah, that girl was so upset, though. <laughs> of course she was. Dude. That's <laughs> so disrespectful. <laughs> she was like, did you fall asleep? I was like, uh, hmm? You're like, what? Well, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was just... No, I came so yeah, hard. Yeah, I, mean, I, just, I, I went into a trance. Trip about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is, uh, is class dismissed? <laughs> I've never fallen asleep while getting fucked. Yeah. Okay. I've got I've fallen asleep while getting head too. It's really? nice. Yeah, both falling asleep and waking up to head is nice. You know what? I could see falling asleep to head when you're yeah. tired. What feels better than just getting your? You know what's the best feeling slopped. is falling asleep while taking a shit. That has. And happened. then you just collapse into the bathtub. In the bathtub. No, you you take a shit. In the <laughs> yeah, you're shitting in the bathtub. <laughs> and you That's just fall I'm... into the kitchen sink. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You get the dial best... all over your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sponge in your ass. <laughs> That's the greatest feeling in the There's world. There's nothing better. The faucet is just fucking split your balls <laughs> in two. <laughs> yeah, I love shoving my head in the garbage in the kitchen and, and then shitting, shitting in the inside hallway. the refrigerator. <laughs> You pass out like that, just with your your dick in the garbage disposal. <laughs> I like to get my feet up in the freezer and then I t- stick my ass in the vegetable crisper. <laughs> and just doze off yeah, while yeah, fucking yeah. diarrhea drips my, into my, the fucking zucchinis. Yeah, my, my roommate comes up and she's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I'm like, "What does it look like?" I'm just- <laughs> I'm trying to go to sleep, bitch. Okay? I've had a hard time falling asleep recently. I'm taking a goddamn nap. <laughs> yeah, nothing like that, man. <laughs> the greatest feeling. <laughs> oh, man. This show is so much dumber without Adam. I know, dude. <laughs> but it gets me good. <laughs> Shitty. <laughs> Just the only thing out is your ass. Your head is fully in the sink. Your feet are in the freezer. 
<laughs> Diarrhea trembling down your balls and into a container of Greek yogurt. <laughs> oh, my foot. My abs hurt. My, my powerful laughing abs. Mm-hmm. Yo, I saw this. I was in Target the other day, mm-hmm. and they have this coffee. Let me see if I can pull up the picture of this shit. Uh, you know, it's like, oh, I look at the Keurig cups. Mm-hmm. Yes, So the brands are like, you know, 8 o'clock coffee, donut sure. house. Green and, something. Yeah. Green pussy this, coffee. This one, I can't figure out for the fucking life of me what this brand is. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing Man Coffee. Laughing Man Coffee Company. Laughing Man Coffee Company. It's a picture of Hugh Jackman and some black guy planting... Is that Hugh Jackman? It's Hugh Jackman, and it says it because every purchase helps coffee farmers, and then it's attributed to Hugh Jackman. Whoa, who that's signed weird. the box. Yeah, so it's like his Newman's own brand curry cups called Laughing Man, which is, is he known for laughing? I don't think so. Also, like, every purchase helps coffee fa- fa- farmers. Yeah, it's fucking coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing they that's make. That's what, yeah. The I mo- guess it's If probably... it's a charity, the money goes to somebody not involved, like retarded people. Sure. Absolutely. Maybe that's who the laughing man is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. It's probably a yeah. laughing. Also, this I mean, the picture of the two of them, it looks like they're about to have sex. It does. It is pretty emotionally charged, sexually charged. Right. It looks like they're about to, for the first time, have sex with each other. Mm. Well, there's probably a lot of gay, you know, African coffee farmers that aren't allowed to be gay. Yeah. And maybe that's what that's what they're laughing about. Hugh Jackman like the, is gay. The locale. It looks like they're on a plantation. That's why you like it. I don't, I, you know what? I, plantations get a lot of flack for <laughs> the slavery aspect, sure, yeah. but they are very beautiful places. Yeah, but it's tough. Anytime you're in the South and you see something that's named anything plantation, that kind of overrides how beautiful it is. Uh-huh. It's just like, ugh, I don't know, man. I don't feel comfortable there. Yeah. I, I know that it's like, that's what I was like. You know that eye. place, Sioux Plantation? No. It's like a, ch- a soup chain. Soup really? Plantation? Called soup plantation? Soup plantation. That's horrible. I don't yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't get it. We, I don't need to hear the word plantation anymore. Yeah. I don't like it. Anyways. No, Shut- it is a nice... Call a it nice, something else. I would buy property down there. Where? In a swamp. In Louisiana. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that'd be nice. I'd I like do one like of those Orleans. hover boats, you know? Yeah. Getting the ra- wrestling gators. Come on, getting sucked off in a fucking fan boat with a Hawaiian shirt flapping in the wind. Yeah, it was dude. better than that, dude. You're right. Going to sleep. <laughs> getting big. Yeah. You got your your Falling fucking asleep, both your hands in, in beavers. <laughs> you got your dick getting slowly tapped by that fan, that big fan on the back of the thing. Oh yeah, baby. asshole, directly in the freezer. <laughs> in, in the freezer. You got a freezer with you. you <laughs> Uh, um, nah, I would buy. You know what? I, I want to play uh, Resident Evil Seven again. Never played it. It was great. It just it was Is that the one that, on GameCube. No, nah, it was the one that came out last year. Oh, didn't play it. Yeah, the one on GameCube though, you can buy I like that one. I almost bought last night the uh, HD remix of that. Mm. The HD version for PS4. Hell yeah, dude! Which I might replay that. That game's fun too. That's a good one. Get high as shit, scare yourself. Oh yeah, I that's like the only one I played. Yeah, it was the only one I played until I played the. Seven. Yeah, I want to get an emulator. I want to get all the Nintendo and GameCube games. I got that shit. You do? Yeah. I want to set up well, a I got laptop that, to I, my screen to my projector. I can outside. set all that shit up for you because they, oh, yeah. they have they have a uh, they have a, a a Wii emulator Ooh. that like works perfectly. That rocks. It actually works better than the actual Wii. That fucking rocks. And then because those Wii things are Bluetooth, you can just pair them with... You can get Wii remotes and pair them with the computer. Mm. And then if you put like a, a six terabyte hard drive, hook it up to it, you can just have every GameCube and every Wii Damn. game right there on your TV. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my old laptop. Because I got... I now nah, gonna... you should get like a nice... Get like a, a better computer. You think so? Yeah, get like a... Um, I don't know. Like, a, I don't know if a Mac Mini would still be a good. I, I, I don't want to advise you on that because I don't really know, and I'm sure somebody will like DM me immediately saying I recommended it. Well, someone thing. tell me what to do, guys. Yeah, you DM me and then own... also send me a picture of your titties. Yeah, if it's a woman, you know what to do. Mm-hmm. You leave the tech advice to the hyper masculine autistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the very masculine guys with big ass dicks. <laughs> <laughs> they fuck the best, according to Jordan Peterson. Um, or listen, if you don't have tech advice and you just want to send me pictures of your titties, that is also fine. But either one of those will do. Yeah. No, you should set that up. I'll come over. That'd be fun. I'll fucking play, uh, uh, what's good? What would be good on that big ass projector? 
I guess I think the Tony Hawk on GameCube was fun. Yeah, that one was fun. Yeah. Elder sometimes shreds on the P on the on the fucking Tony Hawk game on PS4, but it's not that good. Yeah, the new Tony Hawk's apparently shit. Because when I got the PS4, I was thinking about getting it, but the reviews are like... Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, apparently it's garbage. What's that game, Overwatch, that everyone plays? Yeah, I guess a lot of people play Overwatch. Everyone's playing Monster Hunter now. I don't know what that is. Uh, Battlefield 1 just added some, like... Yeah, Battlefield 1's great, dude. It came out, like, a year and a half ago, and, like, every two months they add a whole new expansion for That's free. That's tight. Yeah, you pay for the premium pass, you just get, like, every piece of DLC for free. That's tight. So, yeah, it becomes, like, a new game every, like, two months. Dick licking chompers? Yeah. Is that what DLC stands yeah, for? Yeah, she's got them dick sucking teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool if someone had teeth and on the bottom were a bunch of little mouths. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, like, mm- right here. What, like a kaleidoscope mouth? Uh-huh. Right at the, right, so, at the bottom of your top teeth and the, the top of your bottom teeth... Instead of edges, there's little mouths. Oh, and so they, they give the smooches? Mm-hmm. And they lick it and suck it. Yeah. That would be probably feel really good. Yeah? A bunch of little mouths in, inside of a lit- huh. inside of a bigger mouth. I guess I've never considered what would feel good. <laughs> I'm that's, too dark for that kind of That's all shit. I think about, man. I only think about what feels bad. That's you, man. That's See, because I think I'm going with the culture about feeling good, but not no, you. Not me, dude. I think about dark stuff, you know? Like, what are some examples of dark things? You like the movie of? Ghost Dog, Way of the Samurai, <laughs> and how I relate to that character. Just a lone swordsman, mentally wow. retarded, probably, living yeah. on top of a building in Queens. Mm-hmm. Or Jersey City, I think, is I where they remember. shot that. Yeah. Just fucking around with pigeons. Is that, the, is, that the, is that a black movie? Yeah, well, I don't know if it's a black movie. A bunch of black people in it? There's black people in it. Is it like Jim Dogg Jarmish? It? No, it's Riz is in it. Okay. I'm thinking of a different movie. Yeah. There's a, there's a right, well, Riz is barely in it. He's in it for a second, but he scored the movie. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Riz is good at scores. He did he did a couple other scores. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Now I want to listen to Liquid Swords, even though that's Jizza. It is. It's I love great, Liquid Swords. It's a great dude. album. That might be my favorite Wu-Tang, like, affiliated album. Yeah. Uh, I was what's, also, that, what's that first Ghostface album? Fish Scale? Is that it? Uh, I don't know. That's remember. a good album, too. Whichever is, like, first. Raekwon's is good as hell. Only built for Cuban links. Yep. Mm-hmm. What is the first fucking Ghostface album? Ghostface has a couple, like, older ones that are good as shit, too. Yeah. I, don't, I never really fucked with Wu-Tang. Really? Yeah, not really. I liked... I mean, I did... I actually haven't listened to... I mean, I've basically just listened to... I, I loved Liquid Swords. I loved 36 Chambers, but I didn't listen to, like... Like a couple of their later, like the later albums. Yeah. And then fucking uh, ODB is just so fucking funny. Yeah. And he's got, I mean, his albums are great. Mm-hmm. Brooklyn Zoo rock. I mean, I know it's just one song, but that shit goes the hell off. It's it's just it's nice to see someone who is probably sort of like retarded that just like he has no self awareness whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And he loves to fuck. He fucked a bunch. I think he had a bunch of illegitimate children. Oh, did he? Mm-hmm. I'm glad I don't have that. You probably do. No, I don't. Did you ever? Did you ever ghost? Did you ever raw dog? Yeah, of course, all the time. Well, but I've had all of those women killed. (laughs) Really? Yeah, dude. That's part of being a ghost dog. That's part of the way of the samurai. Is it? Yeah, samurais were weird because they were pedophiles, right? That doesn't come up in ghost dog. Do they fuck their? I mean, I thought yes. that's—I thought Greek people. I thought we had that on lock. Nah, dude. Romans did it. Samurais did it. The English still do it. <laughs> I'm serious. Actually, I guess you're right. Yeah, fucking everyone in Parliament. English, English boys' school. That's though. how you get into Parliament, right? You have to get fucked. Pro- in. Yeah, dude. That's the thing is, like, people are like, "Oh yeah, a Hollywood pedophile conspiracy theory." It's like, "Oh yeah, a thing happening that's been going on in every culture throughout history." Yeah, that's wild. I guess you thought we were done with. Fucking kids. No, human but... behavior doesn't change, dude. You think they're going to be fucking kids? Kids teach an old dog new tricks. That's, That's why so it's true. up to Elon Musk to save us. Mm-hmm. Replace our dicks with robots. With big fucking fat I robot want a, cocks. A nice wide Roomba dick. Could you feel things if your dick was a robot? Uh, you could feel it in your heart. <laughs> you feel it in your, your soul's dick. They could figure out a way to like put in some kind of electrode into your brain that connects to the robot dick. That makes you feel pleasure. An right? electrode. Electrode. Yeah, my favorite Pokemon. 
Tube. That was, that was Diglett's first name is Tube. <laughs> Jeez, Brock, what's that? It's my fucking cock, Ash. <laughs> Isn't that a Pokemon? Nope. It's my dick. Why does it have a face on it, Brock? <laughs> Shut up and suck it. <laughs> What are you boys up to? Get out of here, Misty! Misty, you fucking thin-legged whore! <laughs> Don't come back until you get periods. <laughs> we're we're training. <clears throat> the nurse was hot. Nurse Joy could get it. Nurse Joy? So could, the, rem- Rock. So could the lady from Team Rocket. I don't remember that character. I remember Team Rocket. Who doesn't, dude? Meowth. I remember, yeah, Meowth. The like Jewish weird, cat. Like Brooklyn Jewish cat. Yeah. <laughs> Who loved coins. Oh, boy. Getting coins. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Ba-dum, bum, bum, yeah. bum. Yeah, he spoke. None of the other ones spoke. No. Yeah. Pokey, Pikachu just said his name. Yeah. They all just said their names. So, I guess we should uh, take a look at the New York Times here, like I said I was going to do. Okay. Until I just scrolled through my... Uh, my fucking Instagram mentions. Would you get anything good? No, I don't know. I guess there's a question now about whether or not to seek the death penalty for this kid in Florida. Oh. Which is like, the answer is no. Yeah, don't. Just don't. If you're against the death penalty, you're against the damn right. death penalty. I know I've made that point before, but it's just time to reiterate that if, you know, if there's a limit you can reach where you think that we should euthanize people, then... You know, just support it for everything. Yeah, f- yeah, retarded people. Minor traffic <laughs> violations, retarded people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, if you don't, if you don't win on prices, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Let's get the shit high stakes as hell. Yeah. Do you see the thing about Bill Gates not knowing the prices of things because he's rich? Oh, really? On Ellen and Ellen being like, "Isn't this funny?" It's like, yeah, but you know, he's you know he's a self-made billionaire. His parents weren't billionaires; they were just extremely r- rich. Yeah, <laughs> they're just regular, totally rich self-made, mm-hmm. just like Jeff Bezos, that little fucked up, cockeyed piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Let's fuck that guy up, man. I don't fuck with him. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Oh, that's we how we're gonna it. take him down. Yeah, my friend is uh, working at Amazon, and he's talking about how he's doing like contracting work, and he's like, "Yeah." I actually don't want to criticize Amazon because they might be our future business partner. I'm trying to release the uh, gayest kid in school backpacks <laughs> through Amazon, <laughs> featuring Amazon Prime. <laughs> Free shipping. Oh, I get that. Mm. They're a cool ass company that pays their employees living wages. Do they? No, they're oh. horrible. They, it's it's horrible to work there. Oh. People have to like fucking wear diapers in their warehouses because there's no time to like piss and shit. Really? Yeah, for real. In that Baltimore warehouse, that was a big story, especially during the holidays. What did you just blow across the room? A piece of my nail that oh, I bit off. Okay. That was funny watching you have to eat a bagel with a fork and knife because your tooth is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, dude, I could only I had to cut it up into little pieces and throw it in the left side of my mouth and chew it with my back teeth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you should sucked. go to the hospital. I'm going Monday to the dentist, bitch. Yeah. Well, I what think... if I die on the dentist, dude? Will you be able to do funny moms on your own? I'm gonna do the whole damn show on my own. Everybody's dropping like flies. Not me though, because I'm resilient and powerful. Yeah. Guys, please, oh, by the way, please don't comment on my Instagram about me dying. Uh, my mom reads those comments, and she asks me what's going on. I'm trying to keep it from her so that I might have cancer. So I don't, by the way. I'm fine. Uh, I just have some weird fucked up growth that they have to take Yeah, he, he just says a tumor that needs to be biopsied that they had to rush him to a maxofacial surgeon to get looked at <laughs> because it could be cancer. So it's not, it's not cancer. It's, it's just not. something that... Could and very likely is It's not cancer. cancer. It's some fucked up lump. My lovely little lump. It's my cock. <laughs> <laughs> All the girls go crazy for my little My lovely little lump. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> uh, yeah, the I got Black a... Eyed Peas sucked. Oh, horrible. They fucking sucked horrible. such dick. And I fucking hated that group. And I don't understand why they were so popular. I know. Will I Am sucks my dick. Mm-hmm. I thought it was Wyclef for the longest time, but it no, wasn't. It is not Wyclef. Fergie, though, could get the salich. Mm-hmm. I did want to have sex with Fergie. Wyclef is what? Fuji's, right? Yeah. Fuji's are good. Sucking my dick with your penis. Mm-hmm. One time, one time, fucking my ass with your dick. Sucking Sucking my dick with your mouth (laughs) and your asshole (laughs) for so long. (laughs) Making my dick hard inside you. (laughs) 
Sucking my penis. Man, what a fun way to listen to the radio. Till it comes. All right, well, we got to find something to close on here. Um, we hmm. had so much fun. I, in my mind, last the weekly episode was an hour of that Batman thing, but realistically, that could have only been five minutes. Like, yeah, five, six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what we talked about, yeah. except shitting in the uh, kitchen. <laughs> 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 Which is that? There's no way that's gonna be funny to anybody. No, but who God damn it! Fuck, dude. <laughs> 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 Feed in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, sh- ah, fuck. Yeah. All right, hot riff to close us out here. Uh, hmm. well, something bad. You know, I'm always like, let me look at the New York Times, and I forget that the New York Times isn't funny. I should be going to something like Yahoo News or whatever. Go to, yeah, go to E Fucked. <laughs> you want to see something funny? Uh, yeah, where's where's that the website that all the stories are like a woman whose tits were too big to fuck her retarded son? <laughs> <laughs> is that a website? No, no, but those are the kind of headlines I need. Right, I'm going time. to efucked.com. That's not a news, so no, it's, it's videos. Porn. News analysis. The Cam Whore Awards. Mueller is gaining steam. Should Trump worry? No, he shouldn't. No, dude, Trump's gonna fucking he's gonna he's gonna survive at everything, dude. I can't wait to go to the Trump Library, dude, the presidential library. Yeah, it's gonna just be like pictures of women he's fucked. Framed. I can't wait until Trump on live TV drives a monster truck through the New York Times <laughs> <laughs> and CNN buildings. <laughs> fucking yeah, just dr- drives Grave Digger directly. Yes, directly he's a Stone Cold office. Stunner to the fucking. I don't know. Who's the boss of the New York Times? Um, Bill, Editor? Bill Pat Pullman. Bill Pullman? Mm-hmm. So he stone cold stunners Bill Pullman. Today is our oh. Independence Day. <laughs> There's a lot of different types of people. White people, black people, other kinds of black people. <laughs> but today we're facing a new race. Aliens. The real... <laughs> Even you, Earth boobs, can realize. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In my time as president, I've said a lot of hateful things about. That's for, did we do that bit about Independence Day if the president was like an alt right guy? That, I don't remember that. that everyone hated him up until a- aliens came. Because <laughs> they don't really tell you what kind of president he is. You're right. You get a feel for it. Did yeah. we do that bit on the show? No, Maybe no. that was something I was just thinking about independently. I don't think we did, but I don't remember yeah. anything we've ever said on the show. A lot of my my presidency this thus far has been pretty divisive. I know I built my campaign around calling people lazy spicks. <laughs> but, but, but. That's before I knew about the aliens. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Alt right president. Damn, how fucked would we be if aliens came now? Mm-hmm. That shit would be hilarious, dude. You know, I like the aliens. I made a good deal. At first, I said they weren't going to take over the country, but. I played golf with one of them. <laughs> you know? Why does that motherfucker love golf so much? Golf sucks dick, dude. Golf's great. No. I'm terrible at it. I've only played it twice in my life, but I love the idea of being out in a field and having more money than other people. That's okay. I'm with you with the money part. Driving around a tiny car. I like The car. tiny car like is cool. Vehicles that are the wrong size. That you know? is funny. It is. I mean, you they do have it, snacks. Any at the sport place. involving a vehicle that's the wrong size, it's either for the richest people in the world or the poorest people in the world. <laughs> It's either monster trucks or golf. That's true. You're right. You know? You're right. But the actual act of hitting that little fucking dick-ass ball, I don't want to do that. Yeah. If it's if it's if if you drive out to the middle of the field and there's a ping pong table there, mm. and each hole is a game of ping pong. We talk about how I love the, the premise of Happy Gilmore is a hockey player is better at golf than everyone else because hockey players aren't gay. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Golf yeah. guys are too weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, okay, all right. That's a good one. That's already, we already you covered already talked that. about that. Carl Weathers is in that, huh? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. He's pretty good in that. You got a dick shoved in your ass, boy. <laughs> you can feel that, can't you? They call that The Shining. <laughs> is that... Is that, Why is that Scatman that? Brothers, like, talking to the little boy and getting his dick hard? You feel that? It's hard, isn't it? They call that The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, one hot riff coming right up. I don't know, man. OxyClean, huh? <laughs> we got that right there. You oh, know, yeah. Billy, Billy, uh, what's his name? Billy he died. Yeah, Billy something. 
Got anything on him, Billy? Uh, what if that was Billy the, Mays? That was the Billy that Trump was talking to when he said, "Grab him by the pussy." Oh, that's good. That's yeah, good. yeah. What if President, it was Billy Mays? President Xi face. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What if it was Billy Mays to Billy Bush? All right, that's probably fine. You guys are listening to the Hellbent podcast. We are. We have out. a show at uh, Come On Everybody this Monday tomorrow at uh, It's Funny Mom. So come out. We don't know who's on it yet, but please come to the show. No, no. Also, I'm at uh, House of Blues in Boston, March 22nd. Oh, Check yeah, go out. see that shit, buddy. Uh, also, uh, I'm in Philly, March 17th. Come dot town. Check out the uh, limited edition gayest kid in school backpack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the find you'll be the coolest kid in your fucking school wearing our cool kid gayest kid in school backpack. All right, thanks everybody.